Alright guys, Pitching Ace 88, part 34 of my Dragon Riders Chronicles of Pern walkthrough. Game brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Wanderers B, you've done it. Please take something from my home as a reward. Okay, I will. Okay, so for helping that guy open his door, he lets us pick up something from his house, and that ends up being a medicinal brew. Sweet. Alright, that's all we needed to get from there. Head up your way this... Head your way... Head on your way up this hill. Okay, there you go. I can speak English. Can't go to the supplies just yet. Talk to Foral first. If I can just find him. There you go. Welcome to the Rising Star. Come on in. Don't mind if I do. Okay, now we're in the Rising Star. Now, we were supposed to get a room, so let's see if we can get a room right now. May we inquire about a room for the night? Well, bless me. Dragon Riders from Fort Weir staying at the Rising Star. How many rooms do you need? There is myself and two others. So that just means one. Mm, perhaps ha, I can ha, squeeze ha. you in. Come back later and I'll see what I have. Okay, come back later is pretty much code for you need to complete a couple more quests before we can let you back in. Alright, so let's continue up the mountain. Uh, we can talk to this guy. Greetings, stranger. Greetings. Greetings. I have heard that you, Decor, are a man of some intelligence. Is that so? Well, I... Good! See if you can solve my riddle. I will help you help yourself to anything in my home if you can guess the right answer. Those. Dragon Rider Ride. Dragon Rider Soul. What makes the path to faraway souls? It is heralded by a dragon's roar. What can you never see but is always there? What is nothing but chills the air? Alright, now if you think about this, it's it's something that has to do with it either has to be fear, darkness, or between, and since they've talked about between in the game, it's got to be between. Quite so. Quite so. Well done, Dragon Rider. You may take anything from my home as a reward. Yeah, that was pretty easy. So let's head off into his home. Okay, so same thing. Should be right here. Oh, there it is. Darts for catching bugs. Okay, always useful. Let's head back out. Sweet, so we got that. Now we're gonna keep going up the hill. This whole area will be, co will be coming in important part a little bit later. But for now, just continue on. Same with up here. Up there, you'll need to, I think, a, a drummer or something to do the sounds, but let's go in the house first. Alright, so let's talk to Mariah. Oh, this is the girl that we're supposed to give the uh, pearl to. Or the whatever it was. Oh, I'm so worried about my husband. He went to Fort Hold for the gather. And has not come back. Was he named Saral by chance? Why, yes. Do you have news of him? If you are Maria, then I have been asked to give you this. Then it is as I feared. I gave this pearl to him on the day we were wed. I'm sorry. The end was very quick for him. How did he? He died from the disease that has affected that area of Pern. Tis an ignoble death for such a strong-hearted man. Oh, my Cyril. At this moment, I am seeking the hands behind the plague. 
and I will not rest till I find out who is behind it. You tell him. Do not mourn, Maria. What? A voice in my head. Am I so wrought with grief that my mind plays tricks? That was Zen. He is my dragon. It is not very often he speaks to those outside my kind. Maria. You were in his thoughts at the end. And they were fond thoughts. He took them wherever he lies now. So do not mourn. That is indeed a comfort. Thank you. But if you'll excuse me, I'd like to be alone for a while. Good luck on your journeys. Many thanks, Maria. I know this may not be appropriate, but if you can hear dragons, you could be a candidate for a werewoman. Would you consider a journey to Fort Weir? Our gold is dying. You would be doing us a great service. I will think upon it, Dragon Rider. Cool. So we got some good stuff from her. Reputation in ooh. Increased a lot. Knowledge increased. Awesome. Alright, so we got a werewoman woman con candidate. Time to go back down the hill. Let's see, where do we need to go now? Oh yeah, we need to go back to the hotel. See if we can get in now. See if the second time's a charm. Because we, we all know how good the second time around is. I don't believe it. That braggart Holland is left without paying. I knew he was trouble the moment I set eyes on him. Turns up out of the blue, runs up an almighty bill, and then just clears out of his room and leaves. How much does he owe you? A tidy sum, and no mistake. And he's left the room in a right old mess. I can't confront him. He'd knock me down in a trice. I bet he wouldn't go up against a dragon rider, though. And why don't I see if I can find him? Then why don't I see if I can find him? Would you? Now that would be a great help. <laughs> You'll probably find him out by the bar or thereabouts. If I see him, I'll be sure to remind him of his debt. Oh, yeah, I will. Because I want to roam. I'm tired. Okay, now she said go to the bar, or you'll find him in the bar, so let's head down to the bar. See what they have to say. Another group of loading times galore, so let's hope that I'm somewhere near the 10 minute mark. I could be anywhere though, honestly. No. I wanna get in. Gosh darn it, I hate this. Okay, there you go, go in. Okay, let's talk to this guy, see what he has to say. Gamut. If you hear of anything new, come and see me. We get all sorts passing through here. What can you tell me about Holland? He's well dusted, that one. The town bully when he's here. He travels a lot with traders, looking for a quick profit. He pretends to be poor, but I reckon he's got a fair few pennies stashed away. Aha. Uh -huh. So that'll give us some some information. Alright. Well, in the next episode, uh, we're going to try and figure out where Holland is, get Holland, and uh, I'll see you guys then. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.